the CBS News app. This morning on our Saturday session, Australia's Gang of Youths, who are a big deal down under. Their last two albums hit number one on Australia's version of the Billboard charts. And just this week, they started a North American headline tour. They'll perform from their latest collection in just a moment. First, Anthony Mason spoke to their frontman and lead songwriter about the very personal inspiration for their latest music. The founding members of the band Gang of Youths met at the Australian megachurch Hillsong. How was it you guys connected? I want to say it was sort of a mutual dissatisfaction with the rumors of church. Dave Leo Pepe is the band's front man and songwriter. I think we just found solace in each other. Their breakthrough came with their second album, Go Farther in Lightness, which took them to the top of the Aussie charts in 2017. That was kind of like the, the light bulb moment for us. I want to make it strong. The following year, Leo Pepe's father died of cancer. The band's new album, Angel in Real Time, is his meditation on that loss. You didn't just lose your father. In a way, you lost some of your sort of origin story. Yeah, it was strange to know that what I thought about my upbringing, what I thought about my family life, and what I believed about my heritage was um, incorrect, to say the least. You had a lot to process. <laughs> yeah. Tattersall Leo Pepe, it turned out, was not half white, as he claimed, but Samoan. And that wasn't all. He was older than you thought. Yeah. He was born in 38, not 48. To process the fact that, that my dad was 53 and not 43 when he had me was astonishing. Leo Pepe also discovered his father had two older sons in New Zealand. And they thought he was... They thought he died in the 70s. Were you surprised he had secrets? No. Everyone's got secrets. All I can do is look at his life and feel compassion and warmth and empathy for the man that he became and understand that, like, you know, people have stuff. Everyone's got stuff. For me to hold that against him, I think would be pretty hypocritical because I've needed loads of forgiveness from him, from everybody in my life. So as I dig through the collateral, the secrets hit throughout the years. I know I'll hardly ever answer them. He's still your hero. He yeah, always. But it's a way to keep him. But writing about his father, Dave Leo Pepe says, was hard. You wanted to get him right. Yeah. But could you? Could I? Probably not. Do you feel like you have? No. But I think I got close. He was more person than I'll ever be. He lived more life than I'll ever live. He suffered more than I'll ever suffer. I think to even scratch the surface of that is an achievement. It's the embodiment of maybe of the love that I felt for him more than it is a good apt description of the, the man he was. Yeah. But that's probably enough for me at this point in time. Now from their new album, Angel in Real Time, here is Gang of Youths with The Angel of 8th Avenue.
find me a job But I didn't think I would hold this one down It gives the same old sinking feeling of falling Hammers in my back But you are good to me still When my old man was near the end He loved his broken body In the same way that I did I'm on the way down And be a lover up again And in this strange new town This strange hemisphere God, it was state of the art You called each of my sorrows by name And a tide of tender mercy Shook my body from the grave And in the festival year A long nation parade In the petrol fall Rain. I want to see this one out I want to join the impossible swing And fall hard beside you screaming At the bells of everything And it feels like to mourn You're the angel of aid And what's more the goddamn greatest thing The lady ever made Like 
me in the cold He stumbled down a path And he died upon his knees On the way to the commode Yes, he died today He's skidding, pouring rain His feet up on the deck, right off the Chelsea Bridge, look, it was hardly seen again. Just a boy. 
Like the run of it, we're good to strike that stuff down and we'll get last one done. I think we ought to buy everyone who's here a bottle of beer, boys. <laughs> 